Okay, guys, it's that time again. Yeah, hello there, everyone. How are you? I hope you're looking forward to the show this week. It's Balamina Sports Network Television. It's BSN TV. I'm Sherman Wright, and a very much a massive welcome to each and every one of you viewers out there. The viewers last week amounted to a massive numbers. I'm really proud of the way things are working out, and I just want to reaffirm and say thank you to each and every viewer because I do all this for you anyway. And basically, you know, look, I enjoy it, and uh, it gives me something to do, and I'm thoroughly getting mixed up and, and for the rest of the season here now. I'm really, really going to be putting in a good effort. I'm going to be springing a lot of surprises for a lot of people now. However, what have we got this week? Well, we have a couple of games there that we took highlights of on a Tuesday night, which I think is going to be the last of the midweek games, by the way. So I was very, very lucky to be able to do so. Was uh, All Saints made a welcome to Waveney Swifts at the uh, showgrounds, top of the town derby, if you look at it in a certain way. And then on Wednesday night, we had a battle of the villages. We had uh, Cullybacky Blues, who were made welcome out in Brasheen by Braid United. And in that game... Chad Shaw scored five goals, five absolutely silk class goals. This is well worth having a view. Honest to goodness, I can't speak highly enough of his performance. Uh, it was absolutely immaculate for a second to side. And the way he put the balls into the net, you would swear he's played higher league. There's no doubt about it. And that's Chad Shaw. Massive mention there for Chad Shaw this week. So uh, we're going to move on with the show here now. And we'll move on to the midweek scoreboards of the first division, the second division, and the Joe Thompson Memorial Trophy. Yes, on to Division 1 scoreboards for the Tuesday evening. The match was played on Tuesday, the uh, 27th of August, where Carnini Amateurs and Youth 1, Southside 2, FC Antrim 2, Abbey View 1, Clock Rangers 2, Connor FC 1, Harrow Homers 12, Moilina 0, Riffview 2, A Hawk of Thistle 3, and All Saints Old Boys 3. Waveney Swifts, nil. And on to the Wednesday night in the second division. It was Braid United at six, Collymackey Blues, one. Randallstown, two, Ballet Kale, five. Romania, NI, two, Ruby's Rovers, three. And in the Joe Thompson Memorial Cup, Ahoko Rovers, nil. New Park Olympic, four. Yeah, plenty of goals scored there. And uh, now on to our first piece of action. Obviously, at the showgrounds was on Tuesday night. Division 1, Firmus uh, Energy Bellamy in the Saturday morning league. All Saints made a great welcome to top of the town uh, Derby opponents and Garth Burnside's Waveney Swifts. And I hope you enjoy the highlights. Yeah, welcome to a nice fresh evening here where the sun is uh, coming through the clouds here at the showgrounds. On a pitch that has taken a lot of water this last number of days, but has definitely been dealt with by the groundsmen in good fashion. There's no doubt about it. And uh, it's All Saints versus Waveney Swifts. A top of the town derby, I suppose, in many ways. And uh, most important, it's three points off for grabs for both sides. The referee just making sure the goalkeepers are ready here. So Tuesday evening here at the showgrounds, and uh, a nice night it is, and the ball's played forward. And straight into the hands of Hans Van Fulton. And Swift's trying to move forward and the referee blows for a free kick. Free kick to Waveney Swift just 40 yards out on the right hand side. A nice ball floated in the middle maybe. Yes, a nice ball floated in the middle but nobody on the end of it there. Not a soul on the end of it. And the 25 yards free kick here for All Saints. Can they get the ball on target? A dangerous placing, there's no doubt about it. There's every chance for something to happen here. Ball struck well, but low and hard into Hans Van Fulton hands. You'll not be at the big man from there. And the Swiss play the ball about. They've been playing about pretty well here this evening now. There's no doubt about it there. Donald Crawford just playing the ball nicely at the back. Nice and safely in triangle formats. And the approach down the, the field. Is it going to be a cross? It is indeed. It's a nice cross too. Oh, and ball's out for a corner. And the Saints pushing forward again here in the far side of the field. And uh, though they've just been robbed of the ball there by the Waveney Swifts who are pushing forward. Is it three or four men here? There's three against two here. With one coming back and they get in from it here. The ball's out wide. The ball played in the middle. Oh, unlucky there. Very much unlucky. And a quick break there by the Swifts. The ball's coming out. The ball's been left out wide here, is it? No, he's going to take the ball on. 
Brian Pauls are going to get the shot in. He's not going to get the shot in. The shot's pushed wide there at the Vintley. And Brian Paul gets to turn, no. The shot out wide, oh, unlucky there. By Young Ferris there. And the ball coming forward, oh, and the Swifts hit the bar there. Connor Bannon right off the bar. The Swifts very unlucky there. And a free kick here by the Saints here. The ball played, played short. And uh, it comes to no avail there. A bit of a waste there now, a bit of a waste there by the Saints. A corner ball. The corner got swung in, it's flicked to the back post. Oh, no one on it there, ganging in at the back post. Oh, Philip Lynn on the ball, taking it to the line as Philip does. It's a corner ball to the Saints and the pressure's maintained. And the ball comes in the middle and the keeper punches it away. It's oh, over the bar there, just over the bar. The chance missed there. That's a free kick here for Waveney Swiss in the close of the first half here. Can they get anything out of this here at all? It's a shot and it's a shot wide. And it's half time, yes, half time here this evening. Waveney Swift nil, All Saints nil. In a game where Waveney Swift have been just quite unlucky there a couple of times, pushing forward there and hit the crossbar and had a, another chance there, another half cut chance there, which just wasn't clear cut. And uh, there's no doubt about it now. They'd be looking to try and, if they can get a point off the Saints here, that's been a massive result for them, to be very honest. On table standings and on format standings, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we, Paddy Hudson, giving out a bit of thrall here. He's not happy. And uh, what sort of reaction is he going to get here in the second half? The referee blows the whistle and kicks off for the second half. The Saints getting ready to push forward here. Oh, Rob, there. No, yes, uh, Rob, there by the Swifts, and they try and push themselves forward there. Unlucky. Unlucky there, they're going to win the ball in the air here. Get the ball down and the ball's played over the top. Unlucky there. The ball down the white, down the, the, the far side. Can the Saints get now? But they can indeed. Young Connell. Young Connell McConnell makes it 1 0 there. A chance just breaking free. A lovely ball down the line there. And a, a chance just breaking free. And Young Connell, as you see there, just puts the ball lovely into the net. And the ball played down the far side here. He cuts inside, can I get a shot on, as the shot is on, can I get a shot on, but no, it's a weak shot and not much off it there now. It's a free kick to All Saints, who have upped their game here, no doubt in the second half, whatever Paddy Hudson has said there, at half time it is definitely, it is definitely, as you would say, they've got the hump up here now and there. They've got the first goal, can they get the second goal? Oh, a ball played right in the back post there, should have been more. Another ball down the line here, the ball played up. Oh, loaded cross. And met in the volley, but wide there by Young McConnell. And a substitution here for Waveney Swifts. An injury there by the looks of things. And Garth Burnside changing format and stroking players about there. One thing about Gareth, they definitely be, be fighting tooth and nail right to the very last moment here, there's no doubt about it. And all Saints about to make a, a substitution as well here. Big Peter Sessler makes his introduction to the night's game here. An outward enough big player, a hard player. The ball down the line here, can they get the ball across? Is there anything in the middle? And played out to young Connell Gordon. What can he do here? He lays it nicely for McKillop. McKillop from 25 yards. A lovely goal. It's 2 0 on the night. Waveney Swift's a lovely goal there. And a lovely opportunity just given to young Christy McKillop there by Connell Gordon. A lovely, nice, instead of going down the line, he picked the easy ball. And of course, the result is 2 0. 2 0 on the night to the Saints. Christy McKillop. And Swift with the free kick here. A nice ball. Lovely ball in the middle there. And the ball just. Just head it over the bar. And a very dangerous position here for a free kick for the Swifts here. Just outside the edge of the box on the far side of the field. Can they get a nice ball in? They can. A lovely ball. They get something at the end of it. No, it's just head it back into the goalkeeper's arms there. 
And the Saints back down the far side here. Oh, and the ball played out for a corner there. A corner there played in by Gordon. And Hunt with a flash header by Lemon, the hunter. Conal Lemon, unlucky there. A lovely header there by Conal. And Pierce Esser gets the ball. He plays it through. It's Miss Hap there. And it falls to the hunter. Conal Lemon. Yes, he makes it 3 0 to the Saints on the night. And Conal Lemon, the hunter. He was always going to get something there. He had a beautiful flash header there. A couple of minutes ago there, just missed. But it's 3 0 on the night. And Conal Lemon for the Saints. The ball played out wide in the corner there. Short corner. Can they get the ball back in the middle again? They can. Can they get the ball in any of the field? Nothing coming from oh, the ball. He hits it wide. The Saints have the ball down the far side with the tricky winger, young Conal Gordon. Uh, some lovely foot play there by Conal Gordon. Another shot at net there, but unlucky. Straight into the hands of Fulton. And the ball played forward from a throw. And the Swifts have nailed the ball here. Can they get anything at all here for consolation for themselves? The ball played out wide. Can they get a nice ball in? A deep ball, a deep ball, which I don't think is going to pay any avail there. No, the ball's played very deep there. And there's the referee, blows the whistle. It's 3 0 on the night to All Saints against Waveney Swifts. And a game where the, the, the All Saints definitely needed to be told what to do at half time, but they've come out and done their job. And it's 3 0. Versus Waveney Swifts. Okay, just after the game here, Joe Montgomery, uh, All Saints, a nice 3 0 win there against uh, Waveney Swifts. Joe, a nice start to the season, a nice August for you. Yeah, Sherman, uh, look, new management team in in the summer. Uh, found it really tough to, to get the new players into the club for whatever reason. Uh, so it's pretty much the same squad. But from the end of last season, the form really turned around towards the end. And the, the players have took on board everything Pat and the new management team have come in and are trying to do with them and the performances you know have been good we were really unlucky in the cup game at the start and we conceded late on against clock as our only league goal we've conceded but from that you know we've had two superb performances last week and then you know August August for us is just about getting through it and can we manage the squad and get through it and we have and we're, we're in a good place you know we're in a good place w with regards how we're playing you know we now got on the training pitch two nights a week and that's when we'll really kick in and that's when you'll you'll see a, a, how good all saints can be now joe having said that a very slow start of the night yeah look and it just it just says a big tolly there and the rest of the the management team you know sometimes that can happen Th these games towards the end of august you know it's been it's been a hard run you know two very hard games last week we finished the game on saturday we eight men uh, you know, it's it's all about all about getting through it. You know, we made a change at half time, a few boys carrying niggles, and the, the changes worked. We Cormac moved in centrally, Barry come on and showed all his experience, and then you're able to bring someone like Connell Lemon off the bench as well. And Connell the Hunter bounces him with a goal. Yeah, great goal. You know, he's 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 trying to juggle two sports at the minute and there's quite a few like that too, but they're able to do it, they're fit. Uh, you know, and he scored a good goal tonight again, and he scored a good goal on Saturday, and the goals are being spread around, we're keeping clean sheets, I don't think Tom had received the mech, you know, yes, the first half wasn't good, but there's so much more we can improve on, you know, you ha we didn't, from Saturday, you don't have them again to Tuesday night, whenever we're Pat's able to train with them, and, and has them working on shape and their setup will be so much better. Well, then, Joe, just to end off with, I suppose, really, at the end of the day, you know, you couldn't have asked for more out of uh, the start of the pre-season or the start of the season and the midweeks and stuff. And it's quite obviously just about, uh, obviously, maintaining that and keeping that going and uh, keeping that rhythm on for as long as possible and trying to maintain unbeaten uh, status. Yeah, that's it. You know, this club will not get ahead of ourselves. We know how hard we have to work each week for a result. Um uh, there's been no targets or anything like that set. No mention of... One game at a time, Joe. One game at a time, yes. And it's all cliche, but there really is. You know, and look, you see what happened on, on Saturday. You know, 5 nil up and you lose three players to suspension. Something like that could really derail a team like this. But the squad come in tonight and they've done really well. And as I said before, you know, you get into September. We're on the grass at the showgrounds two nights a week. The squad will pick in now and hopefully we can kick on from there and... You know, we'll not get ahead of ourselves. Joe, I think it's very fair to say that you've commented there and you've said that a young squad has been brought in and trying to gel together. You're bound to be very, very happy the way them young lads has all gelled together, Joe. Yeah, look, it's an exciting squad. Uh, it was exciting from, you know, there was about seven or eight of them signed last year and it did really just take time for them to bear in. 
they're learning what the club's about, they're learning what it's about to be playing for a top team in Division 1, uh, and look, they'll only get better, you know, there's there's a lot of, lot of ability in the team, and when you have the experience coming in, the likes of Philip and Barry and Donald come into the squad tonight, you know, it makes a big difference, it'll help, uh, but yeah, as I said, we'll not get ahead of ourselves, we'll just keep ticking games off, and hopefully we can keep the level of performance is what it was. Second half was excellent tonight. You know, we really, really upped our game. We created chances, scored three good goals. And uh, look, on another day, we could have had more. But 10 points, three clean sheets out of four, one goal conceded at the last kick of the game against Clock. You can't ask for more than that in the league. Yeah, quite a game there. And it uh, took all chance to get to half time to be told what to do by Paddy. Uh... Paddy Hudson, the manager there, who wasn't happy with the side at half time, as far as obviously his perspective was concerned. And it's always nice to get a chat with me, Joe, at the end of the game. He speaks very well and very authoritative in his motions. And uh, I hope that was some good gathered information for all of you out there who follow uh, the BSN TV and the aftermatch interviews in the first division. So we'll move, now move on to the second division game, which was Braves United versus a Collybacky Blues. And that took place on the Wednesday night. And there's some aftermatch reactions there as well. Yeah, you join us here. It's the BSN TV, Ballymena Sports Network Television. You join us out in Bashan here tonight, where uh, Braid United uh, make a graceful welcome to another village team, Collybacky. Collybacky Blues, although they're playing in black here this evening. Uh, a fantastic game uh, was had here, and some absolutely fantastic goals. Um, we've taken some highlights here, and we most certainly hope you enjoy. But however, continuation of the situation that has happened recently is another minute's silence for the McCloy family putting football into perspective. Yes, yeah, so a call it back. You click out kick off here from uh, right to left in the black here on uh, an evening where the rain has maybe dimmered down a little bit there, but there's definitely was sweating there. They had to brush the pitch and try and get some sand on to make sure that the ball was rollable. As in a couple of areas, it wasn't really moving just the best there, but it seems to be sweeping across the ground now here. And might I say again, this pitch has been in immaculate condition for the for the conditions that there has been this evening. You can see Colly Bank just. Flitting the ball around there, although he loses the ball there to the Braid. Ball recover. Fullback, can he do anything? No, it's a nice long ball. Is it going to be met by the young winger? It is indeed, yes. A young man collects the ball on the far side of the field. Can he get it by the defender? No, he can't. He lays it back. Can he get the ball in? The ball's left in, but no. Taken by the uh, Braid, but brought back to the Collybacky. I'm back out to the winger again. Can I get a wee run here? Can I get a... No, it's a throw in. And it's a corner here to Braid. Can I get anything out of the opening moments here? A nice ball, shift it in there. Oh, and no, it's away! 1-0, Chad! Chad Shaw, an absolutely fantastic goal. The ball comes in from the corner and it drops just at the, the edge of the penalty spot. And met in the half fall there by Chad Shaw. Met absolutely wonderful. And it's 1 0 after 10 minutes to Braid United. The ball played out wide again to the young winger. Can he get the ball in? He can indeed. A free header? No. It was looked like a free header there for Collybacky, but they just couldn't get in on the end of it. And Braid uh, getting the ball away here and obviously brought back down again there. Nice days. Nice uh, formats here by Braid in the defence. A nice ball there. Lovely ball there by Stuart. Right through the best part of 45 yards, 50 yards, right through to Chad. Can he make it 2 0? He can indeed. Chad Shaw puts it away. A wonderful goal there after a wonderful ball. A ball there, maybe perhaps of 50 yards by the team, uh, the manager actually, by Paul Peter Thompson. A wonderful ball played through to Chad Shaw, who made mincemeat out of that. 
He brings it down and just slips it in below the goalkeeper to make it 2 0. Too brave. And the ball breaks through again here. Chad Shaw on the end of it. Can he make it three? Can he make it the hat trick? He most certainly can. He's lost at home wonderfully. Another fantastic goal there by Chad Shaw. And that's the hat trick. After 23 minutes, making it 3 0 to Braden Island versus Collymackey. A wonderful goal there. A beautiful goal. Nicely taken. Absolutely wonderful. 3 0 to Braden United. And the ball's at the edge of the box. It breaks loose. Can he get the cross back in again? He gets the cross back in. Is a free header? for a free header. Oh, but just drops right in front of the goalkeeper there. And the ball's brought down on its own, but it's cleared again there by the uh, red centre back. And it's played through to Shaw. Can he get something here again? Can he make it? Number four. He cuts inside for the free shot. But no, just no power behind it there. And the ball falls to the Cully Baggy man on the edge of the box. Can he get a shot? And he can. Well held by the Braid goalkeeper. Well held. And he gets the ball clear there down the line. Only to lose it in the middle there by the, the uh, Cully Baggy man. Hats a shot from yards there and bounces right in front of the goalkeeper. Could have been awkward. But the goalkeeper. And get in a half time here. It's Braid United 3. Cully Baggy Blues 0. No. Three wonderful goals. Three absolutely wonderful goals. From Chad Shaw, a very, very impressive performance so far for the young man. And starting the second half here, Braid. Get the ball moving here, and the ball's in the middle of the field. Can they get the ball to the forward line? He leaves it out wide. It becomes dangerous out wide. We can get an overlap there. No, he's got someone running all down in. He cuts inside. Can he get the shot? No, is that anything there from that? No. And the Chad Shaw turns, twists. Ah! <laughs> Ford! 4-0 to Braid United. 4-0 to Braid United. And Chad Shaw again. This is unbelievable. Absolutely wonderful performance by this young man here this evening. Extremely impressive. Four absolutely wonderfully relaxed goals there. And of course the fourth right from the kickoff. And Collie back to getting the ball in the middle. And can he get a, a run up there? Here he has a shot for 40 yards. Tried to chip the goalkeeper. A great save by the goalkeeper there. Unlucky. And Collie back to breaking into the box here. And the referee blows for a penalty. A pull from behind. A pull from behind there, and it's young Gary Glass here to try and get something out of the game for the men in black, even though they're called Collybacky Blues. Surely he can slot something home here. And he can, a nicely taken penalty there, a nicely taken penalty there. And after 65 minutes, it's 4 1. A golden consolation there. Nicely taken penalty there by young Glass. And the ball's messed about in the middle there. It's left out to Charlie Allen. Can he sweep it by the keeper? He can indeed. 5-1. Charlie Allen, just a number of minutes after the penalty there, making it 5-1. A lovely wee chip there, just to the right-hand corner of the goalkeeper there. 5-1. And a free kick here, just outside the box. Maybe 25 yards here for Braid United. Oh, it's got her there in the end, hits the wall and see if it can keep it. And the ball's brought out to the number 11 here. Can he play the ball through? He can indeed. Is there a man in the middle? Or is there a shot on? There's a shot on a man in the middle. No one in the middle at all there. Really should have been more there for Braid United. And the ball comes forward again, but no, the goalkeeper for Cully Backy. Very, very safe in the hands. And a free kick for Cully Backy here, but the ball's played out. And can he get it back in again? He can, but it's ricocheted and it bounces about and it's played back out again by the brave men. And it's Shaw up front. Can he get number? He can, it looks like as if he's going to get number five here. He can indeed. Chad Shaw, five goals on the night. They make it 6 1 for Braid United. Absolutely fantastic hunting by this man. All he needed was a sniff for these five efforts here tonight and he has put the five of them into the net absolutely wonderfully. That was four last week from Chris or Johnny, and five this week. No one tells me the BSML isn't full of excitement. And there's another lovely save there by the goalkeeper there after a nice shot. And the ball's played in, that's kicked out again there by the Braid, who on the offence here are trying to push the ball forward. Can they get the ball into? It's played out the line there and just left back there and played back again there. Nice tackle there by the, the Collie Mackey man. And the referee blows the whistle for what's well, been a fine game with plenty of goals there. 6 1 to Braid United. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. Six goals for Braid United here and one for Cully The five goals 
of Young Chad Shaw really have been outstanding tonight. But we're going to do some after match chats here. Yeah, I'm with Peter Thompson here after the game. It's uh, BSN TV, Balamay Sports Network Television. And uh, Peter Bridge United there, uh, 6 1 tonight against a. Uh, an, awkward, an awkward colour back at times a couple of young wingers there but you're about to be very very happy with three points there tonight now very very happy we've uh, well, we knew the rain started early pitch was not ideal for us playing football on but we played some beautiful stuff and uh, some great goal scores made a real statement here so we did tonight picking up some more points and uh, three more points on the board yeah I was going to say that that's uh, six there two in a row and uh, is that, or is that three in a row is it Two and one draw, so you're still undefeated. I, was, I noticed that actually now. And uh, listen, that has to just be keeping on the, the band rolling and keep the you know the band wagon moving in the right direction. And that's an extremely important thing at this time of the year. Hundred percent. As most people know, like us, we have a lot of players missing at the minute. With all their things. We've got about twelve coming back, and we've got about fourteen here in the pitch who's picked up in pre-season. And they made a real statement. They keep their shirt, so they are just a lot of boys watching and know that uh, we're looking to make statements. And I think one man made a big statement tonight, Chad Shaw, fucking four goals. So, and we're, all we want to do is get this club out to where, we want to get this club to where they, we want them to be. We want them to be a first division club and that's where this season we want to make statements in every game to show that we're capable. And it's great to have that monopoly of so many players who are, are interested and still coming to training and showing that, that they are there for the shirt and not just for the leg of the game of football. 100%. A lot of boys were uh, could have went elsewhere this year, but they all wanted to come back to Braid. And I, as a manager, couldn't, couldn't be more happy about that there because we have so much competition. And we're we're really determined to, to get to avenge that playoffs. Final so what you're saying there is obviously uh, the, the number of goals that were scored there by uh, young Chad Shaw, who I'm obviously going to bring over in here now. There was one of them, I must say, just that was a beautiful ball played by yourself, just to give you a wee bit of a... Uh, all the boys... It was an absolutely wonderful ball, really, really well. All the boys are... Not going to believe me, but they can see it this time. But they can see it for their own breath. <laughs> Thank you very much. Listen, Peter, all the very best for the rest of the season, and I should hopefully get you before the end of the season. I'm just going to bring in. Uh, I'm just going to bring in uh, young Chad Shaw here. Chad, obviously, uh, five goals here this, this evening. Five absolutely classic goals, right from the off to the very end. You were extremely dangerous, and I would not like. I'm trying to mark you myself. You were like lightning there. Like you're about to be very, very happy with your performance now. Very happy, just have to keep it going, eh? keep up the positive mindset, just carry on from there. And you're enjoying your football here at Braid? I am, I didn't play much last year, but I'm back now trying to stay injury free, so I'll keep up the momentum. I think personally, if you stay injury free, you'll be, you'll be a great uh, asset to the club uh, this year, there's no doubt about it. The five goals, it's very, very nice to be able to get the, you know, it's nice to score one or two, isn't it? But to get five now, you, have you ever done that before? Yeah, I've never scored more than three, so getting fives. Uh, <laughs> five is good, so it is, uh, it's good. Absolutely fantastic performance, Chad. Absolutely fantastic performance. So, yeah, there you are. And it's always nice to get a bit of a chat with uh, some of the guys after the games as well there. But I'm sure you'll agree that uh, Chad Shaw was absolutely explosive there. Five absolutely cracking goals. You know, there's no doubt about it. He took each one of them really, really well. It's great to be able to capture stuff like that there. However, next week now, we're going to move on to a sports roundup here before we leave. It's been a quite a short show this week, apart from the two highlights there. Uh, we weren't able to get into on a Saturday because of the City yes and Saturday. There was no football. So basically, the City yes and we're going to end with the sports roundup here. But before I do end up with the sports roundup, make sure to stay tuned for next week because there's three or four massive announcements to be made. And I'm sure you'll all grab onto it. So listen, this is for Shermie here on BSN TV, Balmain Sports Network Television. We're ending up with the sports signed up. In rugby yesterday, Ballymena were defeated by 52 points to 12 away to Ballyclare in a game that's in the Ballyclare side run away. They're very, very comfortable winners. And in cricket, Ballymena travelled to Donna Clooney, who scored 246 runs for four versus Ballymena's 128, leaving Donna Clooney running out the comfortable winners by 118 runs. And in mixed martial arts, storming Norman Park, the free tip Pavel Tiberski by a unanimous decision last night in the middle of the Cauldron in Poland, and Parks' last seven fights have come up with seven wins, and it's onward to the next one for the first Mills man. And in GAA at Quinn Park with the All Saints Club there, the uh, senior Camogues beat uh, Loch Lowe in their first round, a game of the championship. 
and their next game will be against St Gauls on the 6th of September. And the Senior Football Men's Intermediate Championship Group 2, Aussians defeated uh, Davids by 8-11, 2-0-4.